The Zaha stands as a novel Turkish amphibious armored personnel carrier APC, also referred to as the Marine Assault Vehicle MAV. FNSS developed this vehicle to fulfill the Turkish Navy's requirements, with the development contract signed in 2017 under the name Zerli Amphibi Hukum Araklari, Z, translating to Armored Amphibious Attack Vehicles. A scale model of the APC was unveiled in 2018, followed by the public introduction of a prototype in 2019. The conceptual design bears resemblance to the US AAV-7, a model adopted in the early 1970s, sharing similar dimensions and specifications. However, the Zaha is a cutting-edge creation, signifying a significant advancement. Notably, Turkey has never before operated vehicles of this class, indicating a strategic focus on enhancing their amphibious assault capabilities. The Turkish Navy has ordered 23 amphibious APCs of this type, along with four variants, and production is currently underway. Delivery of these vehicles is anticipated to commence in 2022. Intriguingly, these vehicles are meant for export, emphasizing Turkey's openness to catering to international customers. The Zaha was meticulously designed for deployment from amphibious assault ships. It boasts seafaring capabilities, enabling swift travel over short distances in open waters. During amphibious operations, it facilitates troop landings on beaches and secures the coastal region for subsequent forces. Its purpose encompasses forced entry into hostile territories, cargo transport, and supply delivery from ship to shore. Once on land, it can collaborate with other armored vehicles, safeguard checkpoints, and partake in patrols. Turkey's newly developed Anadolu amphibious assault ship is expected to deploy these vehicles. Constructed with an aluminum alloy armor hull, the Zaha exhibits hydrodynamic features. Aluminum's enhanced rigidity, as compared to steel, allowed for fewer reinforcing structures, thus optimizing the interior space. The vehicle's armor offers protection against small arms fire and artillery shell fragments. Moreover, an optional modular armor kit can be integrated for heightened defense capabilities. The vehicle also possesses a degree of protection against landmines and improvised explosive devices, addressing a vulnerability seen in the US AAV-7 during recent conflicts. The Zaha features an NBC protection system for the crew, along with automatic fire suppression and undisclosed countermeasures. The Zaha is outfitted with an unmanned turret, armed with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun and a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. Operated by a crew of three, including a commander, gunner, and driver, the vehicle's spacious cargo compartment can accommodate up to 21 dismounts. Troop access is facilitated by a rear power-operated ramp. Alternatively, it can carry various cargoes, military supplies, and even small vehicles. Powering the amphibious APC is a diesel engine, generating around 500 horsepower. Positioned at the front, the engine connects to an automatic transmission. For water propulsion, two water jets are situated at the rear, allowing a maximum speed of 13 km per hour on water. In case of necessity, the Zaha can navigate on water by rotating its tracks, albeit at a significantly reduced speed. The vehicle can function effectively up to sea state for conditions. Variants of the Zaha include a command post vehicle, for which the Turkish Navy has ordered two units, an armored recovery vehicle, also ordered in a quantity of two, and a proposed mine clearing vehicle.